In this video, I'm going to be talking about the main causes of a weak jawline. When you look at the jawline, there are two main factors. The first is the structure, which is caused by the bone, the bone structure of the jawline. Then there is the muscle, mainly the masseter muscles. It takes longer to change the bone than it takes to change the muscle. So you got long-term changes, which has to do with the structure of the jawline, changing the bone structure. And then you got more short-term to medium-term factors, such as the masseter muscle, building that masseter muscle up, making the masseter muscle more prominent. Let's take the masseter muscle first. Let's build up the masseter muscle. So to do that, we have to figure out what is the function of the masseter muscle. And it's pretty simple. It is chewing. So if you want to build up the masseter muscle to get a more prominent jawline, you want to chew more. You want to use the masseter muscle just like any other muscle. But just like any other muscle, it's important not to overdo it. Give your body enough time to recover. Make sure to get enough sleep and make sure to give your body enough nutrition to rebuild itself. Not only will chewing your food more if you're not already chewing your food properly improve your jawline, but it will also improve your digestive health. Not only will breaking down food improve digestion, chewing will also release salvia and salvia contains digestive enzymes which improves digestion. Not only will this make you feel better, it will also help getting more of the nutrition that's in the food, which will again help build up the masseter muscle. It's this positive circle where one improves the other, just like with sleep. If you get enough sleep, you are less stressed, and if you're less stressed, you sleep better. One of the most popular theories to why Today, we have so many people with a weak jawline. It has to do with that today we eat so much soft food. We don't challenge the jaw muscle enough. This theory came from Western Price. If you were to ask me, do I believe it's mouth breathing or do I believe it's soft food that's the cause of a weak jaw? I would say it's both. I would say that one leads to the other. Not necessarily eating soft food, but rather not challenging the jaw muscle enough. What happens if the jaw muscle is not challenged properly? What are the things that come natural to us that depends on the strength of the jaw muscle? Such as having the mouth closed. We will still be able to chew food, but we might not be able to keep our mouth closed at all time. But what if we were to keep our mouth closed at all time? Will the jaw muscle be strengthened to the point where that becomes natural and then we are able to break out of this evil circle and is able to chew food more properly. Or will chewing food more properly lead to a stronger jaw muscle and then lead to us having our mouths closed at all time? But what caused mouth breathing in the first place? Was it lack of nutrition? Was it not challenging the jaw muscle enough? I am a big believer in mewing. I watch a lot of Mike Mew's videos. But one of the questions which I have is, what caused mouth breathing in the first place? So what I would conclude is that mouth breathing is the cause of a weak jaw. But what caused mouth breathing? How the bone structure is formed is based on posture. When it comes to jaw, the tongue posture. So that is long term change, where by improving your posture, you're able to remodule your bone structure. You're able to change the bone structure over time, slowly. But what caused the bad posture in the first place? So what is mewing? Mewing is proper tongue posture. It's where you put your tongue at the roof of your mouth. I will link some great videos from Mike Mew that you can watch in the description. That's on how to have a proper tongue posture. So to summarize, you get two main factors. Of course, you got a third one, and that's the body fat, but that's another topic. That's more for definition. But when it comes to the build itself, there are rather two factors, and that is the bone structure and a muscle which is built on top of that to make it more prominent. For bone structure, you got mewing, you got changing your posture, 
Then for the muscle, you got chewing. And for both, you got nutrition and recovery. Getting enough rest. So to end of this video, I just want to say thank you. And I will link some videos in the description below to some of my news videos.